Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Chairman, CEO, and President of Pacific Gas and Electric Corporation, Mr. Tony Early. Well, good afternoon. As uh, Chair of the Edison Foundation, it's my privilege to uh, welcome you to the second edition of Powering the People 2.0. Um, you know, when you think about it, the electric grid is without a doubt one of the most incredible, impactful w wonders of the modern world. You know, I'm sure you've seen those pictures taken from space at night. And the only thing you can see that was done by human hands, you can see the impact of the grid when you look down uh, on the Earth. I mean, it's transformed our society. It's unleashed unprecedented growth and prosperity. And it's given rise to a standard of living for the average American that no one could have conceived of 100 years ago. You know, in that short time, we've become far and away the most productive, most interconnected, and most informed society in human history, thanks to electrification and everything that it makes possible. It's fundamentally changed the way we experience the world. Uh, it's bridged time and distance by powering telecommunications. It's extended our lives by powering advancements in healthcare. And it's expanded our understanding of the world by powering countless advancements in science. It's pretty amazing when you think about it. And I think the National Academy of Engineering got it exactly right when it called electrification the single greatest engineering achievement of the 20th century. So with everything that this marvelous achievement has done, it seems fair to ask the question, so what more could we expect from this innovation? Well, it turns out we do expect more from it. Uh, we, do need to, we need to do more. We need more supply. We need better reliability. We need more efficiency, better affordability, and cleaner alternatives. The truth is the growth, prosperity, and innovation that electrification set in motion has been so extraordinary that the resulting demands on the grid will require us to rethink the system that got us here. And that's kind of ironic that the greatest feat of the 20th century has set the stage now for some of the first great technological policy and economic challenges for the 21st century. Uh, so today, our industry can't rest. Uh, we have to adapt. We've got to develop new solutions. We have to re-envision and reinvent what we've built over the last century. This is an incredibly exciting challenge, and it's an opportunity for all of us who are in this business. So this afternoon is a chance to look into the future and see what potential all of this holds for our industry, and most importantly, what potential there is for our customers. You're going to hear some great panel discussions this afternoon with leading thinkers and doers in our industry. And you're going to have a chance to get a first-hand look at some exciting technologies. Uh, on the eighth floor, we have Electric Avenue. Just down the hallway, we have Innovation Alley. And you saw some of the electric transportation experience that's out in front of the building. And we hope you check out uh, all of those activities. What's astonishing to me is what you'll see throughout the day is the sheer breadth of areas in which we're seeing potentially game-changing innovation. It spans virtually every aspect of the business from end to end. On the generation side, uh, the issues involve energy storage, distributed generation, utility scale renewables, plus advances in fossil and nuclear generation. We're seeing the start of electrification of the transportation sector, perhaps the only major part of our economy that doesn't largely rely on electricity. And of course, we're seeing innovation on the transmission and distribution sides as these innovations and demand for energy efficiency drive the need for a smarter grid. So our first panel today is going to look at the range of advances that are occurring in these and other areas. This evolution is creating a vast new energy innovation marketplace. And our panelists will focus on the world of possibilities that is opening up, including new business opportunities for utilities and other players in the business. The second panel is near and dear to my heart, being a, a veteran of the nuclear navy. Um, in his new book, The Quest, Dan Juergen credits the nuclear navy with giving birth to the nuclear power industry. It was the navy that saw the strategic potential in nuclear power and made it work. And as the largest energy consumer in the world, our military is continuing to play an important role in tackling today's energy challenges. 
So we're going to explore how the military is thinking strategically about energy efficiency and security in their operations today and how utilities and the Defense Department are partnering to strengthen our electric system that powers military facilities through improved energy efficiency, distributed generation, renewables, and building resilient microgrids. If you think about it, many of today's most useful technologies, from jet air aircraft to the internet to GPS systems, satellites, microwave ovens, all had their genesis in military applications. Uh, just like these examples, I expect that we'll see energy breakthroughs from spin-offs of military applications to civilian products that will add to the quality of our life. And ultimately, that's why our business exists, is to provide a better quality of life for our customers. But for all of its incredible benefits, we also have to recognize that as we start to innovate more, it means changes for our customers. I mean, smart appliances, smart thermostats, home energy management systems, smart meters, grids, electric vehicles, they all give customers new information and new options to manage their energy use and to become much more efficient. All of these innovations are going to put consumers in a position where they can make new choices. Uh, which technology should they buy? Whom should they buy it from? And how are they going to get the most out of it? This creates a huge challenge for our industry. Um, but it's going to redefine our relationship with a customer. And we have to make sure that our customers are empowered rather than intimidated by these changes. I mean, how many of you have tried to program your, old, your VCR? We've got to make these innovations be customer friendly. Uh, and so that's what our third panel is going to focus on. How are utilities, energy providers, product manufacturers, and the like, uh, how are they going to educate and engage consumers in a, in a productive way? So I want to close with just one small example of how utilities are tackling this problem to make things easier for customers. And that's called the Green Button Tool. Uh, the Green Button is a tool that PG&E and a number of other utilities are now making available to customers online. It was an initiative that was launched by the White House, challenging utilities to provide customers uh, with energy usage, usage data in a standardized, user-friendly format that ultimately can be shared with uh, third parties. So if you're a PG&E customer, for example, with a smart meter, and virtually all of our customers have smart meters, and you've signed up for an online energy account, you can go onto a website, click on the green button icon, and download up to 13 months of hourly electric usage data. So about half of our customers currently meet all those requirements, so about 2.3 million customers. Uh, we've had the system up for just a couple of months. We've already had 220,000 downloads of data. So that's almost 10% of the customers uh, that uh, are eligible to download in, in just a couple of months. So I think that's a testament to the fact that we've got an application that is consumer friendly. And providing this kind of information in that customer friendly format is a way to kind of take a quantum leap ahead in how this information is used. It, it really does invite innovation. And it's already unleashing the creativity of third parties to develop new applications uh, for this data. In fact, earlier today, PG&E announced that we are sponsoring the Department of Energy Apps Challenge, which is offering applications developers a cash prize to create the best new energy management apps for customers. And we're already aware of some that have been created to manipulate that data in consumer-friendly ways. The more engaging the apps are, I think the more tools our customers will have to be smarter customers. And that's the kind of innovation and engagement that we're talking about at our company where we talk about making energy personal. personal. And that's a great example, I think, of this conference, Powering the People. So it's the kind of future that you're going to hear about today, and I think you'll have a great afternoon listening to all the exciting innovations that are coming your way. So thanks for joining us.